Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you are doing well and having a great day to start things off. As you can see, the prices of everything have pretty much uh, gone down. So reading around, it seems that Bitcoin uh, dropped below a 11, an $11,000 uh, price resistance area and it caused everything to kind of tumble. I was reading around a bit yesterday as well, not to get dive too deep into this, but it appears that the... Uh, there's just not a lot of interest in cryptocurrencies going on at the moment. So this seems to be a major reason as to why prices are going down. <clears throat> I'll get into this in one second. Uh, but it appears that all the momentum that we had around September to December, even in the beginning of January, has completely kind of fallen apart. Even with all the good news, this is why I see a lot of people are not complaining, but you know, everyone is kind of confused as to why there is so much good news happening for all these projects but the prices of everything is nothing's really moving in any given direction except for down so it seems that the analysts believe that the momentum and the amount of hype that we had before earlier or rather the end of last year has kind of faded and they're not really sure what could reignite the spark so first up and something that's kind of interesting i guess Webster's, Dictionary, Webster's Dictionary has officially added the words cryptocurrency and ICO, initial coin offering, to the dictionary. And I mean, it's kind of significant in a way. It shows that we are moving forward. I didn't really expect this to um, ever happen, but I think they've also, haven't they added like LOL and all these other things to it as well? So I guess if cryptocurrency and blockchain and ICOs are constantly making the news, they were going to be added eventually. Uh, so this is kind of the thing that's going around today. Um, the meeting between, or rather the, uh, news event that is happening between the, uh, people behind Coinbase and Ripple is happening today. A lot of people thought it was happening yesterday. And through all of this, a lot of people started, like I said, once again, a lot of people kept on posting things that they were going to add XRP to Coinbase today or yesterday or the day before or they were going to do it on a Wednesday or they plan on doing it on Friday and Coinbase has come forward saying that they have no plans to add any other coins especially XRP to their platforms at the moment which has led a lot of people to believe that you know it could be next week they know what they're doing but I think they're making a really big mistake when it comes to not not even focusing on XRP that's one thing uh completely but the fact that Coinbase kind of isn't moving forward with adding any other coins is just kind of weird. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks this way. It could be for a number of reasons. Uh, if you've been looking around, Coinbase is not, it's not that they're not doing well, but a lot of people have come forward. A lot of people are suing them at the moment uh, for a lot of different things. But one of the main things is um, I think someone said that they're keeping coins from some of their customers. I assume this has to do with some of the forks that have happened and there's also a lot of talk about insider trading when it comes to bitcoin cash this is probably the main reason why i think they haven't ha added anything because it doesn't really seem too smart to add or even think about adding new coins when the last time you did it there was talk about insider trading it kind of is what it is i think that they are they might not have too much longer at the top of the rankings because so many other platforms are coming for for their title but i i want to see them do well but i think at this point they're kind of they've gotten too comfortable at the top and this is kind of shaking the tree from the bottom but at the yeah, at the moment they said they're not adding any new coins especially xrp to their platform like i said they know what xrp is they know that there's a demand for it they know that there's a demand for uh eos and all these other things to be added to their platforms as well but at the moment they are stepping back completely from it so this is uh yeah the price of xrp went up during the rumors <coughs> that it could potentially be added sometime this week and then when they said no this is what happened uh next up i told you this was not going to stop uh so it pretty much comes down to that daimler ag uh, famous for the Mer for Mercedes-Benz and smart brands, presented its own blockchain-based digital currency MobiCoin at the Mobile World Congress 2018 in Barcelona. I told you this was going to happen, and I don't think it's going to stop. And it kind of, 
I don't want to say it frightens me, but there are just way too many coins and there's no reason for any other coins to be hitting the market. This coin pretty much that um, that Daimler has made is pretty much to promote safe driving. That's great. That's wonderful. But I don't think that people need coins for it. They're going to be testing it with 500 drivers to see how exactly um, yeah, you, you get these coins if you drive it smooth and safe driving speeds. I don't think this is completely necessary, but this is going to, I think 2019 is going to be absolutely ridiculous when we have about 3,000 coins listed on coin market cap simply because every single company decides that they want to make this. I'll get into the rest of this in a couple of seconds because this is also segueing into it. Cambodia has now announced that they are also going to probably launch their own cryptocurrency um, that will be called Interpay simply because they believe in uh, the future of blockchain, the future of cryptocurrency, and they think that their coin has the potential to replace Visa as the new mainstream payment mode. Don't think so too much, um, especially when it comes from a country. But who's to say? Who's, who's to say exactly what's going on down the line? I personally think, like I said, if you've been in crypto for a while, we've seen exactly, or we had moments where we thought exactly exactly how far adoption would go. And I currently think that we are, there are about five stages of adoption. And I think we're somewhere around 3.1, 3.2, where it's slowly going to phase four. Phase four will be when all countries have announced that they are creating their own cryptocurrencies. And stage five is pretty much as worldwide adoption where it's kind of normal. They will become as normal as smartphones. So I think we're somewhere in between. It's just a lot of growing pains, but this is to be expected. We knew, especially... Countries that ha don't have the strongest economies in the world right now are definitely going to start coming forward. When they see any type of success from Venezuela's coin, they're definitely going to start coming forward and saying that they are creating their own cryptocurrencies. Obviously, there's not a lot of information on these new coins that are happening. But you better believe as this year rolls along, we will definitely see so many more countries coming forward and so many more companies talking about that they're creating it. We, we just had... Uber a day or two ago talking about that they're also going to do it. You there, there's going to be a lot more coming, but I this is the not to sound like doomy and gloomy, but remember when people were talking about a bubble and how we had the uh, the internet bubble, you know, in the uh, late '90s, early 2000s. It's because we had so many websites and so many companies coming forward that were trying to profit off of this, and none of them had any real. You can't mimic the same company 45 times and expect everything to continue to go well. Yeah, but this is just my just my viewpoint on it. I'm sure you guys understand exactly what I'm saying. Uh last up, I I I personally stay away from ICOs and this is kind of one of the reasons why not to even get too deep into this. There's an ICO that came out a lot of people were hyping it up for the last couple of days. Turns out when you scroll through their website and you look to see their, uh, the team members who are working on the ICOs, you get this guy. This is Ryan Gosling. This is an actor. He's quite famous if you do not know him. His name is not Kevin Ballinger and everything on their website was completely fake. We've seen so many ICOs do this and it kind of makes me wonder how... Uh, slow some people can be when you if you're gonna make a scam and you're gonna you know work to make nice graphics and stuff like that no one thought hey people might know exactly who this person is especially if he just won an award i don't know what's going on in people's heads i'm i mean i'm glad this scam was caught early but i what like what is actually happening in in life anymore it's just a ridiculous news day a lot of stuff with adoption a lot of stuff with uh things going back and forth. But yeah, this is this is the world that we live in now when people don't even think of just using a normal person's photo. All right, everyone, that is definitely going to do it for this video. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys are enjoying wherever you are, wherever you might be. And yeah, let's hope for a great week and I will talk to you all soon. See you.